Sick pay tool. The sick pay tool is a way of submitting sick pay decisions to payroll. The task will be triggered as per company preferences based on automated triggers. To complete a sick pay decision, first enter the lost working time in the hours lost fields. Note that the input is in hours and minutes. Next, select if the absence was for a non-medical reason. This is relevant so that your payroll team know if SSP will apply. For paid non-medical absences, you also need to enter the number of hours to pay. If the absence was not due to a non-medical reason, but was caused by sickness, you need to confirm if the employee qualifies for company sick pay or not. Please note that your input here will not affect the employee's entitlement to SSP. If the answer is yes, the employee is entitled to company sick pay, you must enter the number of hours to pay. The total would depend on the employee's contractual terms. If the employee has a fixed entitlement to sick pay, like four weeks full pay, and their entitlement will soon run out, you should enter a stop pay date so that your payroll team know when to switch over to SSP. If the answer is no, the employee doesn't qualify for company sick pay, you are asked to give a reason why. This could be because the employee is tripped to company policy trigger or because their entitlement has been exceeded. Any other reasons would fall under discretionary. If you use sick pay suspensions, you can add a note to yourself that you've decided to suspend sick pay for a period. This will appear on the next sick pay task if the employee goes absent within the suspension period. When an employee is absent at the time you submit the pay decision, you should schedule a follow-up task to update your decision again for the following month's payroll. To update the totals for the following month, simply add up previous month's lost hours with the current month's hours and enter the full total in the input fields. You should do the same with the hours to pay, if the absence qualifies for pay. If the employee has returned to work, you can close the task off as complete.